Glory to God. And I want to remind you of the daily revival, the God's revival daily ministry that started on the 1st of the 1st, 2018, and will go for three and a half years. Some of you have started, some of you have not. And here's what you're going to do, you know, because the Lord is helping me and refining it and helping me to even understand it better. Yes. What you do, you're going to choose a day when you're going to start. That's going to be your symbolic day. If you miss January 1, one suggestion for a symbolic day is World Vision Day. Oh, God is so good. Get me two books. There are two books in my, in, in, in my bag, two blank, two books, but they are blank. They, they, they're books that you write in. Amen. You just make it, you just make it kind of special. Say, so today is my day. I'm going to start. You may start tomorrow. You know, tomorrow, you know, or you may start the following day. But if you want it to be real symbolic and, you know, will move you, a World Vision Day could be your, your, your day one. Amen. Glory to God. And, and when you go out, we're going to, this is not an instruction because you got to really allow the Lord to deal with you. But we are giving you a few tools that will help to keep you motivated. What is in my hand is what I call a journal. Journal. This, this was given to me like a year ago. And it's a journal. It's empty. Nothing in it. Get a nice book. You know, there's nothing in it. Nothing in it. There's nothing in it. But look how it looks neat and have a scripture on it. For God so loved the world. You see? John Chi is on there, but it's all empty. Yeah. So you get a journal, a nice book, and each day that you go, you write what happened. Don't write too much. Just write a little and going to keep you motivated. And each day. So that's the journal. You write in what God has done where you went and etc etc and it keeps you motivated now as we said that you're going to there are, there are four ways you can get involved you can get involved personally help me with some of them cars is out of my head you can involve with family with, with your family and you can involve be involved as a church or be involved as a community now the family one i want to to, to, to sort of say a little more is that if you whenever there is a day that you are unable to go you can ask your brother to go you can ask your mother to go your, your daughter to go your uncle, your sister to go and it's in the family Do if, if at all possible don't let a blank day go and you didn't get somebody are you there? you just get somebody it, it's, it, it's like on the job you know on the job and you can't go one time and the job allows it and you can ask somebody to work for you but you want to know that it was the, that thing was done are you there then at a church now you do the same you make sure that there's no blank day somebody went somebody went are you there then as a community so we want to be involved if you have not get started get started it's not a harvest army thing this is a this is for you this is for the body of christ to to motivate you to build you up and when you are finished my god when you are finished it's gonna be over it's gonna be over for three and a half years now watch me now let's say you are you miss a day and you were not able to to get or you miss a couple days and you were not able here's how you're gonna do it whenever you start just whenever you start again you're gonna it's like going to college and you went for a year huh and you have a year of credits are you there and then something went wrong and you were out for six months and you go back then you're gonna continue from the year are you there the, the, the six months that you were out you have not gone one and a half years are you with me you're still at one year. So when you resume, you're going to resume from the one year. You know, in, in college, you got 30 credits after one year. Am I right? So you, you skip six months, and then you, you gather back. And the best way to say it, you skip a year. Okay, so you, something went wrong, and you didn't continue in the college for that year. And then you get, you get back yourself together, you know, get back your financing and whatever, a year. So your, your third year would now become your second year because you, you dropped out a year. Am I making sense? 
so but what you're gonna do your intention is to complete three and a half years let me explain another way you decide you're gonna read the old bible anybody ever decide you're gonna read the old bible yes that's a very good plan as a matter of fact if you can read the old bible during daily revival oh, 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 i can't i can't say what gonna happen to you Whoa, i felt that one Whoa, glory to god and you're reading and you finish genesis and then for a while you didn't follow up but the next time you go to you go to um exodus and then you you go on and on until it may take you you know three and a half years to finish the bible but you have not finished the bible so this is the thing that we're telling you that once you finish is that you are, you are putting in the time are you there so i want to encourage you and somebody may ask the question why daily revival write this down write this down sorry to hold up so long but you know these things i got to give you because from tomorrow night we're going to have the visitors so far we have been local <laughs> You know, a, a little more than local, but from tomorrow night, you know, what's going to happen here? Glory to God, it's going to be something. Glory to God. So, somebody may ask the question, why daily revival? Let me tell you why daily revival. Woo, glory to God. Why daily ministry? Why God's revival daily ministry? Why daily revival? Because yearly, yearly, let me, let, let me make sure. I get this yearly is ritualistic if you go out once per year it is still good but you can you can almost be asleep and still you know go out once per year but there are some people who don't go out at all so if you go out once per year even though it's like a ritual it is still good amen why daily revival because quarterly quarterly is required quarterly is required i mean quart why did i say quarterly required for god say wait not for four months oh my god oh, come on come on come on anybody like the bible <laughs> so quarterly is required god said don't wait for four months <laughs> amen say amen. amen glory to god why daily revival because monthly mm -hmm, monthly is reasonable <laughs> monthly is reason i mean going out to witness monthly is reasonable yearly is ritualistic once per year um quarterly is required wait not for four months the bible said uh a uh, uh, monthly is reasonable if you go once per month you know it's not bad you know it's, it's reasonable weekly is recommended <laughs> come on now come on weekly is recommended he said god gave me this stuff in my office just tonight i have it in my hand look at it am i telling the truth have you got it, you got it. glory to god hallelujah weekly is recommended watch me now but daily is a revolutionary you're not excited come on daily is a revolutionary daily is the climax for revival once you go daily you cannot be unrevived you will be revived you don't get it somebody say daily revival why daily revival because come on now because yearly is what ritualistic it's okay but it's ritualistic number two because quarterly is required mm. number three because monthly is reasonable am i right number four weekly is recommended wow amen just like the first day of the week you go to church at least one day per week you go to the street come on but daily is revolutionary Hallelujah. daily will take down the jericho walls look rapper cut that stand before the church daily will move the mountains 